Um, late Thursday night, uh, I had a fall in my home. That's, that's accurate. Yeah, that's about right. Are you are you an investigator? No, I'm a reporter. <laughs> investigator, Please, investigator reporter. Um, usually, how certain falls happen, you slip, and uh, I slipped and tried to catch my hand. Uh, it wasn't like a banana slip. Um, I actually almost caught myself. Um, landed on my knuckle uh, in the window sill of my home. So that's about how it happened. They're telling me uh, 10 weeks, some doctors say um, eight, but since Dr. McKinn claims to be the best surgeon, you think I'll be back pretty quickly. Rajan, does it matter if it's uh, your non-shooting hand that you might be able to make it back sooner? Is that an impact? I think it's actually just, I think it's, since it's not my dominant hand, I'll, I'll be back um, a lot faster than uh, I guess they're saying. We'll be very cautious with him. He'll want to be back sooner than he'll probably be playing back. But, you know, people, don't, I think, underestimate how much you use your left hand, not just dribbling and passing, and he uses it a lot, but defensively, you know, and, and uh, you know, we want to be careful and make sure there's nothing long term there. For this injury. Well, I just I do spend time with my kids. Um, the, my daughter's birthday was last week, last Wednesday, and I think the the video that got out was of me at the trampoline park on Tuesday. Uh, I went Tuesday. I took my daughter for a birthday that week to a trampoline park Tuesday, and uh, I think it's in Sky Zone in, in Deedham. I think um, I did jump. Uh, I learned some new tricks with my daughter. We had a lot of fun. Wednesday was a birthday. I went to the Lion King with my daughter. I spent the day uh, playing baseball with the team. We had a softball game, um, which we won. I thought I scored about three runs. Uh, didn't bat like I was supposed to. We didn't play on the softball field. I couldn't hit it out of the park. Made a couple top ten catches and uh, some, a one hand grab throw out at first base. That was, was really good. I was impressed myself with that. Thursday came, I, I took my kids back to a trampoline park in, um, in Bell Ricker. Um, I, didn't, I didn't jump that day. Um, I just let my kids play, run on some steam. You know, it was a school night, so I wanted to go for about 45 minutes. Uh, people were really nice there. They let me in for free, so that was good. And that night, I went home, and that's when the incident happened. So it didn't, didn't happen at all at the trampoline place. For this injury to happen when it did, give um, I was telling myself it wasn't, you know, what I thought it was, um, but I tried to grab some things at night. I waited for about 30 minutes to, to make a call to Ed, and I called Ed, and uh, he told me I can come in or I can talk to Dr. McKeon at 7 in the morning, so I went in to New England Baptist at 7 a.m., got an x-ray, he knew right away that, it, you know, I needed surgery right away, and I did. I had surgery around 11 a.m. that day. Um, well, the frustration was that day, but the last couple of days I've been fine. I've been, you know, pretty positive. I think for me to go through what I went through with my ACL, you know, this is this is nothing. So uh, I'm still able to keep my cardio up. I won't be able to, you know, sweat for about a week. But other than that, uh, I've been in the base shape in my life. Uh, the day before I was at the hospital taking my EKG test, my stress echo test. Uh, I did pretty well. Uh, I think I did the best I ever did as far as conditioning wise on, on my heart test. So. I'm looking forward. I'm still looking forward to the season. You know, I have high hopes. Uh, I have a chance to sit and watch and learn the new system that Brad is putting in and, and be able to learn from a, from a sideline standpoint versus on court right away. Uh, I don't think it'll be a setback. You know, I think my time will be off a little bit, but it won't take long. Uh, like I said, I've been working the entire summer. You know, I didn't take pretty, pretty much no time off. Man, my kids stay here in school, so. I was able to stay in Boston, you know, rehab my knee a little bit better and uh, get myself in better shape. So, I, you know, me being off with, we say, maybe two and a half weeks, three weeks as far as this basketball, I don't think it'll set me back too far. How's the knee? The knee is fine. The knee is something else, but the knee is fine.
Danny, how important is it not to put too much on Marcus because of the injury right away? Well, you know, Marcus being a rookie, and um, it's very important not to you know, feel like he has to fill Rondo's shoes. Um, we'll do that as a team, and we'll do that collectively. I know that um, Evan will probably play some point guard, and you can, those are questions you can ask Brad when he gets here, but um, well, Phil can play. But, yeah, we're, we certainly won't have those expectations, and we, and we expect Marcus to play both the one and the two this year. Rajon, aside from the hand, what's your mindset? My mindset was, you know, what Danny's been telling me all summer, just to be in the best shape of my life. And uh, I go out there and contribute every night and be the leader of this team. Uh, well, I, you know, coming off of ACL last year, I didn't get to play a full season. Um, you know, a lot of people are doubting me and doubting this team. And, you know, I've always enjoyed being an underdog. So, uh, you know, I what people say really doesn't matter to me. I have a lot of expectations for myself. I'm pretty sure I'm the hardest critic of myself, so I'll go out there and do what I do best and play the game.